If you want to hire world-class developers at a fraction of cost, keep watching this video. Then, so yes. what's the problem you're solving? Okay, ultimately hiring high-performing tech teams is really difficult. Time consuming, it's expensive. Um, if you're hiring people in the UK, salaries uh, for a senior developer is like £80,000, £100,000. It's hard to keep them. If you're using platforms like Fiverr or um, Freelancer, it's kind of a hit or miss experience. And uh, how are you solving this problem? Okay, yeah, so June Technology, we um, go out into the market in Tunisia. We've got an office over there. We hire like the best talent from like the top tech companies, specifically for your company. We take care of all the tech uh, interviews, um, but we also sort of do like a good sort of cultural sort of fit for your company. And we, and we hire people who want to work for your startup. Are you guys different from the likes of uh, Freelance and Fiverr? Freelance Fiverr are great at what they do, but if you get someone off there, they could be anywhere in the world. Maybe they're going to deliver something, maybe they're not. If they deliver something, is the code actually going to be sort of good enough to take um, post MVP? Like, has it been security vetted? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, ultimately, you know, as well as uh, helping build your team, like we're there as a resource as well. So if you need some like CTO support, if you need um, someone to sort of have a look at the architecture and make sure it's going to be scalable, we can sort of do that. Doesn't mean that for founders, who would be working with you, they will be saving on cost and potentially improving the quality of the code. Yeah, absolutely. We only hire really senior developers. Code quality is really good. We've got our development standards uh, and the cost is uh, very competitive with uh, Eastern Europe. What are we talking about in terms of the saving on cost? You'd, be, you'd probably be saving 50% against hiring directly in the UK, um, probably 20% against Eastern Europe. Okay, that sounds amazing.